Okay, so I've had a really, really long, long day. Um, we've done a lot of work, amazing work on the village. Uh, we got the wall extended and built. We cleared the land. We filled in everything that we needed to. It's just, I honestly cannot believe that we did all of this and we did it so quickly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in and just fill in the some areas around and stuff like that don't look right or any holes where people could fall in and uh yeah and then we're basically done and we could start building the houses for the new villagers um we decided to move it from this well originally we we're going to extend that wall over there but we decided to do this one instead and i think that's a lot better um just because the houses were on this side anyway so i think it just made sense um i need to go ahead and fix this area over here where the sand and the dirt kind of don't blend in together it's just a straight divide and i really don't like that so we're gonna go do that do that quickly because we need to go right away and start working on these houses see what i mean like this uh, this part's not so bad but there's a line and i kind of don't like it but anyway there's the big elephant in the room and that is taylor again and to be honest with you guys i'm tired of talking about taylor and everything just being about him and <sighs> what Aaron told me he basically said that he's seen Taylor before which you know shouldn't be alarming it shouldn't be but the thing is Taylor never goes out anywhere and I'm thinking if he did go see King Falkirk First, why would he go see him? And second, why did he go there every week? That, to me, doesn't make sense. And I don't want to be gullible again. I don't want to sit there and think, oh, well, maybe it wasn't him. Maybe it wasn't blah, blah, blah. Because what if it was? What if he was working with King Falkirk? That, that is a possibility. And again, the only thing is I could sit here and say, he has to move. He has to leave the village. I'm not going to trust him anymore. I could kick him out. But how do I how do I say that to the, to the kids? That's the part where is that that's the hard part. I could go find him now and tell him that. And maybe if he wasn't the father of my kids, I would. Maybe I would just be like, "You know what? You have to get out right now. I don't want to ever see you again." But I can't. It's not that easy. Uh so I've been trying to keep busy with all of this. Plus, I don't want Taylor to catch on to the fact that I know and he runs off or does something stupid. I, I really don't want that. So I'm trying to be cautious. I told Aaron to just go about his day, try to avoid Taylor if he sees him. Um, I don't want anyone to know because I think the minute that Taylor finds out, He's either going to come up with a lie or what if he does something stupid? And I really don't want that. So we're going to try to do that. Just keep playing it cool. Just avoid him. Well, just avoid that topic as much. And then um, decide what we're going to do. I know what I want to do. I want to find out what he was doing over there. But I'm just worried he's not going to be honest with me. Because why, why would he be honest? So I'm thinking, what if I talk to Olivia? What if I try to find out stuff from Olivia? Maybe I could, I don't know, find a way to, to get her to talk or I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. But let's go back into the village. I just left this open so I could go ahead and get in and out easily. This is the layout for the actual houses. We are going to be adding four more. One of the, all the way at the end is a lot smaller than the rest. So I think that could just be for a couple maybe or just family. That's not a big family. Um, and then over here, we could probably make this a two-story house for these three over here. So that should be good. Um, I thought I had some bone meal because I wanted to go ahead and just make everything look more natural. So the next big project is actually getting these houses built. The villagers are starting to interact with each other a lot more, so that's good. Um, you know what, little piggy, stay here. Let me cover this, I don't want it to get out. Because we got the cows now, but we don't have pigs yet. So if I cover this, be perfect. All right, and we can get you back into your, oh, is that Willow? Oh yeah, it is. What is she doing out here? Hey, Willow. Hey, Mom. I've been planning the perfect vacation for the family. Oh, really? So, where are we going to end up going then? Well, none of us have ever been to the beach, so I thought that would be the perfect place. 
okay, that sounds great. Um, we'll have a little picnic out there, maybe relax or something. Um, I'll see if we could find a little cabin or something near there. Yeah, I think it'll be great. Oh, um, Mom, have you seen Dad? I've been waiting to tell him about it, but I can't find him. Um, I'm not sure where he went. Um, are you sure you haven't seen him around? Uh, maybe I'll send one of the guards to look for him. Have, have you checked with Olivia? Maybe he's with her? But wait, um, actually, don't go, don't go look for Olivia, okay? Uh, I'll go check in with Olivia. If one of the guards find him, I'll let him know to go to you. Okay, you're being strange. I'm sorry, it's just, I have so much going on and, but I'm still trying to find ways where I can spend more time with the family. So it's just, it's really crazy in my brain right now. Anyways, I can't wait. Also, Riddle really wants to show you her cool new boat. Go see her, please. She's driving me crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll go see her. Um, I need to do a few more things, but I'll stop by and see her. I'm assuming she's by the lake or something. Um, but if I do find your dad, I'll let him know to go speak to you, okay? Uh, I'll be back. <sighs> see what I mean? What do I say? I can't just tell him the truth. I can't accuse their dad of working with this evil man if I don't if I don't know for sure yet I have no proof I can't just jump to conclusions like that <sighs> anyway another big thing I've been working on is getting everyone to start getting back into old habits getting into their jobs and stuff so we have our farmer here and we have a couple of cows now so hopefully you can breed them and we can start kind of getting some food supply going again instead of just having bread because that's not nice, is it? This is where the pig is going to go. Um, we also have... We have to fix the, the toolsmith slash weaponsmith area. Because that's still been blown up. And I haven't gotten to it yet. But we do have a couple of people at the butchers. I know someone's there now. So I need to fix all of this. But once that gets fixed, I'll assign people to that job. Um, we have our butcher, Red, over here. Uh... Don't be mean, Red. You look scary. Look at all the blood on you. And then um, Echo, of course, is our teacher. She's always going to be the teacher because Echo is great. All the kids love her a lot. I think they're in class now, so I don't want to be too loud. Oh, yeah, they are. Or not just me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Why do you only have... Hi, Echo. Just walking around. Uh, we have Rayleigh here. So, hi, Rayleigh. Why is it only one kid today? It must be like a tutor or something like that. Okay. So we have the school. Kids need to get back in school again. We're starting to get everybody back in order, hopefully. All right. And then here we have our fisherman. We have Brogan, a fisherwoman over here. Kayleen, you two, no flirting on the job, all right? Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you two. And there we have the greatest little granddaughter ever, Riddle. Hello, Riddle. Who's this? What's going on with you today? I don't know. What's going on with you? Anyway, hey, sweetie. Where's this awesome boat that you have? Hmm? Your mom told me about it. Grandma, look. It goes so fast, but Jessica and I are too scared to get on it. Oh, yeah, look. How are you going to get it back? It's out in the middle of the water. But, yeah, maybe you don't want to get on it just yet. Um, Make sure your mommy's with you, okay? Because I don't want you going in there by yourself. You know what? I have an idea. Are you looking forward to going to the beach? Why don't we maybe take your friend over there, Jessica, to the beach with us? Are you serious? Grandma, you're the best. We're going to have to ask your parents first. But if they say yes, um, we'll go ahead and take her. But make sure you guys get your stuff ready uh, for our little picnic, okay? And be careful with your boat. I'll come back to check on you guys in a little bit, okay? Ugh, it feels so weird being a grandma. It makes me feel so old. <sighs> All right, so I find it quite strange that nobody's seen Taylor, especially Willow. I know he left, but this isn't a big village. Like, where could he have gone? Maybe I should ask Kenneth to go look for him. Let me go see. Kenneth? Hey, Kenneth. Um, thanks for the help earlier. Um, can you help me with one more thing? I'm so sorry to bother you. Sure, what do you need? Have you seen Taylor anywhere by any chance? No, the last time I saw him, he was leaving your room. He seemed like he was fuming. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. 
Uh, did you see where he went? Have you seen Olivia at all? No, I'm sorry. Would you like me to go look for them? Is something wrong? Um, no, nothing's wrong. But yeah, can you please try to find Taylor? And if you if you do see him, don't let him get worried about why I'm looking for him or anything like that. Just just say Willow wants to speak to him, please. Okay. I'll get right on it. I'll take Turner with me. Okay, that's fine. Um, just be quick, okay? Thank you. Where could they have gone? I find it weird that Olivia's gone as well. Doesn't make sense. I need to just figure out what I'm going to do with him. If he's gone missing, that just makes him seem more guilty. And Olivia too. Wait, Olivia, how did you get in here? Seems like your mighty castle isn't guarded that well. 